good Thursday morning. Pre-birthday morning! I've been waiting for Riley to get up and my video to finish saving. I don't know what happened. I got up and my internet was off, so I'm guessing something, some kind of issue there. But I have become obsessed with this show that i just seen on TV. I flipped on the TV and it was on this channel. So anyways, the show is about plastic surgery <laughs> and it's called Botched. I am obsessed with this show. Like, it's, it's no lie. I wanted and kind of sort of still want breast implants. What are you doing? Well, anyways, but I wanted and I still kind of sort of want breast implants. Um, I've never, never really loved my boobs and having four kids and breastfeeding, they're not like they should be. And you can do whatever, you know, workouts you can do, but you're never going to really get them back to the way that they were before. Um, I remember when I was younger, I was like... I think I was 10. Anyways, I went to school. No boobs. Flat. Over summer, my boobs. B cup. And that's just kind of sort of where they stay at. And I know like some of the outfits that I wear um, and some of the shirts and stuff, you may see it and you may be like, oh, she has great boobs. I wear the Victoria's Secret uh, push-up bra. It's called, what is it, like the Miraculous? Miraculous? Yeah. Anyways. Um, bra and I've wore that for years and I continue to wear it because I feel like they're so saggy that when you do wear it, it kind of pushes them back up to where they need to be. Um, if I, I guess if I ever had like the opportunity and it was a really good doctor and I mean like everything checked out and you know what I mean? Like it wasn't going to be a botched job like these poor people are having. Um, I would, I'd probably do it. Like, I love my boobs when Not I, when I'm pregnant because they balloon up and I become like a full C. Um, I'd probably go with that, but not anything like too, like, not like a D because when I'm breastfeeding, they go up to like a D and those are heavy and they don't look very good and et cetera, but I'd probably go to like a C cup, maybe a full C, but. I don't know, these poor people like just seeing the stuff. It's just like this one woman, her cheeks, like so sad. This other woman, her nose. This dude, he's just getting his chest done because he had breast implants and then took them out. So it's kind of like, you know. Um, and then this one woman, her like saggy skin. But I just, I don't really like the surgery part because I don't like the blood and stuff. My sister, she could do that. She, seriously, she was a scrub tech. She'd do all that stuff. Me, no, I, I no, I can't do that. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, and then I'm like, those poor people. Will you cool it? He's in a grouchy mood. You need to go back to sleep. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Go back to sleep. Go back to no. sleep. No. Yeah. Anyways, but I found this show and I'm like addicted to it. So instead of like doing something like I should be, I'm watching this. Story of my life. So today is pretty much going to be... Dale's birthday preparation stuff. Um, I am going to just be getting a couple like food items prepped um, for his birthday. I told you guys we're going to do the uh, surf and turf. So I'm going to grill him steak. And instead of uh, shrimp, I decided to get him lobster tail. They, they were having a sale and it was kind of like, oh, okay. So I got two of those. I don't eat seafood. Like I'll barely eat shrimp. So, I decided to get him um, two of these little lobster tails, and he's going to have one, and then the other boys um, are going to try it because they wanted to, and he was like, sure, yeah, okay. So, we're going to do that. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with the potatoes just yet, if I'm going to do, like, a baked potato, or if I want to make, like, some type, you know, a flavored potato. Um, I also got this uh, little, like, kit for kebabs. Um, it's got like peppers, mushrooms, um, onion, I can't remember, I think uh, squash, just stuff like that because I'm going to be grilling. I also got some corn on the cob because, hello, they were on sale and Preston loves corn on the cob. It's going to turn into a corn on the cob, <laughs> a cob of corn, yeah, a cob of corn. <laughs> Anyways, so um, for his gifts, I, because by the time this goes up, he'll already have gotten his gifts. 
Um, I am going to... Well, I, I got him these couple things that I got him uh, from Walmart, and then we're going to go tomorrow to get his tools from Harbor Freight. I picked out a few things that I would like to get him, but he wasn't really interested in the things that I picked out. So I was like, okay, well, fine. You pick out what you want, and that's what you'll get. So I'm, I'm going to show you guys what I got him from Walmart, so I can go ahead and put it in a little gift bag, um, and then go and start messing with um, my butter. I'm going to make some cowboy butter. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so really, it, honestly, it's like nothing special, but when we were shopping one day, he saw these shorts, and he said that he would like a pair, and then he said, no, I'll just get them later, and that is that is definitely Dale. He does that. He will get everybody else something and not get him anything, um, and I, I really love that about him, and I used to do that for the longest time, and I know like sometimes when you see me getting things, you're like, she's always getting things. No, because for so many years... I always got him things and the kids items and I never got anything for me and it did kind of suck sometimes when I really did want something but I always put their needs bless you before mine and then it got to the point where not only were people telling me you need to do things for yourself you need to get things for yourself but I just I didn't get anything so it got to the point where I was missing out on a lot of things and there's things that I needed and I kept telling myself not to get them Anyway, so that's why I try to treat myself, and Dell knows that, and that's why you, he, he will say things like, you know, get something for yourself. So I try not to go, like, above and beyond, you know, but anyway, so I got him some new shorts. I think that's going to really come in handy for the summer, and then when he goes with the boys to church camp, which they still do not know about. Um, so yeah, I just got him some shorts, and then, I mean, what outfit is, you know, not complete, right? I mean... I saw this shirt and I was like, oh, this is nice because he's got shirts that have holes in them and it's driving me insane. I just, I want to chunk them. And then some of them are too small and he keeps still like trying to wear them and I'm like, come on, babe. So I got him a shirt to kind of go with his shorts and then he's going to wear his black Nikes. So it kind of goes. And then this was actually on sale and I know he's probably going to be like, why did you get me this? But I was thinking that when they go to, like, on a camping trip or if they go on another trip, like they went to the USS Alabama, you know, and if it happens to be raining out, then he can wear this. Um, it's draw power. And the back of it is like this. The front of it, of course, you know, if it gets wet, it's just going to come right off. But anyways, the back of it looks like that. And it would go, of course, with his black Nikes. Um, so yeah, I mean, he's probably going to be like, why in the world did you get me this woman? But, you know, you, you need to have items, you know what I mean? It never hurts to have a rain jacket, right? Hence why I want a rain jacket and he thinks I'm totally insane. And Mary, I was right. He said that he had a yellow rain jacket in the Jeep and he could get me some <laughs> rain boots from work. They'd probably be a size 10, but that he could get them. So I have to take, you know... I have to take the job into my hands, the responsibility into my hands, and I'm going to have to place my order for my rain jacket and my boots. And my friend Samantha sent me a sight of this woman that um, I'm probably going to order mine from her. So yeah, but anyways, that's what I got him. He'll pick out his tool tomorrow. Um, he, we will do his surf and turf, and then I'm going to make him his pie. And then later on in the evening, the adults will have a little time together, you know, for his birthday. Probably... Probably watch a movie or something if we don't watch one tonight. But, yeah, he wanted to go see The Jungle Book, but I just don't think Riley would sit through the whole thing. So it would be like, well, one of us should stay, and it just wouldn't work. So, anyways, but I'm going to go ahead and throw these in um, a bag, and I'm going to go start making my cowboy butter. I'll show you guys that, too. And I know I'm talking, like, 90 miles per hour, and just talk, 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 talk. I know. <sighs> Hello, Riley. Hi, Mom. Yeah, you want to tell them what happened? Huh? See, I had an accident, and I tried to take care of it all by myself, and in the process, made a huge mess. Man, there's stuff all over the floor, the toilet, clothes. So bad that he had to have a bath, okay? And excuse this bathtub. This house is like 60 plus years old. This bathtub is just awful. They were supposed to replace it, and didn't. So, uh, I see. Sit down. Sit on your bottom. Anyways, so now I gotta clean the little booger. I guess it's all part of trying to be a big boy, huh? No. Oh, Lord, Jill. But now I gotta scrub this little kid up. 
<sighs> get them all nice and clean and scrub everywhere. I'm let stuff soak right now, so I'll have to wait just a few minutes for my cowboy butter. All right, let's get on to this cowboy butter. So what you're gonna need is two sticks of room temperature butter. I uh, popped these out of the refrigerator and I've let them set out uh, most of the morning. So you're gonna need two of those. You're gonna need half a lemon or you can use lemon juice if you want. Um, you're gonna need real or imitation uh, parsley. Fresh is always best, but if you don't have it, you know, I mean, don't sweat it. You can use this, it's just as good. Um, it's really honestly just for the flex. I mean, <laughs> um, you're gonna need some red pepper. You're gonna need some um, black pepper. If you have it like this, uh, try to use this but if not not a big deal salt and you're gonna need minced garlic if you have uh, garlic on hand use that but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and throw this butter over into the bowl and I'll give you guys the measurements of these in just one second okay so forgive this weird creepy light but I'm over here in this dark corner as you can tell with my KitchenAid and so I have put this little whisk uh, attachment on there now what I did was put about one fourth cup of the parsley um, about a teaspoon of the red pepper flakes, a pinch of salt, um, about two uh, teaspoons of the pepper, uh, a tablespoon of the minced garlic, and uh, half of the lemon. So what I'm going to do now is, of course, shut this bad boy. We need to lock it into place and we're going to turn it on. <laughs> Don't worry about that. If you need to turn up the speed to get it all off there, do that. You can also take a little uh, spatula and just scrape it off there. And then just keep it going until it's all nice and combined. And then we're going to take it off and I'll show you what to do. Okay, so it should look something like that. Will you move? I'll have to start the show. Anyways, it should look something like that. I know it doesn't look too yummy and appealing right now, but... On the top of a juicy steak, yeah, it's going to look really good, melting and dripping all down the sides, or on your corn on the cob, or your tater, or your bread, whatever you want to put it on, okay, so don't worry about that. So you're going to take, it's hard to see now, but you're going to take a piece of uh, wax paper, put it on your counter. Excuse me, I'm trying to vlog here. Anyways, put it, I'm going to my counter, y'all. Oh gosh, I'm a mess today. Okay, you're going to put it on your counter, you're going to scoop your stuff on top of your little paper here. And then you're going to try to keep it in a little log shape. So you're going to try to roll it as nicely and as tightly as you can to the end. And then you're just going to twist up the sides, use a rubber band, and tie it off. So that's what I'm doing. Pour the stuff on the paper. Try to get it into a little log shape here. Squeeze it as tightly as I can while wrapping the paper over. So it kind of forms that. So when it does freeze, you can just cut it off into slices if you want. So, um, yeah, and then I'm going to roll up the ends. I'll show you that when I'm done, too. Okay, so it should look something like that. And what I'm going to do now is just put it in the refrigerator until we need it tomorrow. Um, you can also store this in a like airtight container for up to two weeks. Um, or you can even freeze them. I know some people freeze them. They just put them in a Ziploc bag and they make all different types. You can put jelly in there. You can put fruit in there. You can make a sweet butter. You know, obviously you don't put that in there if you're making a sweet one, but you can make sweet butter, you can make um, salty, just whatever you feel, cinnamon, etc. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and stick this in the fridge, and that will be ready for tomorrow. And then I'm going to go ahead and shuck this corn and boil that so that's one less step that I have to do tomorrow. And just because I'm afraid that it might go bad, I, I know that sometimes when I get corn from, uh, I almost said McDonald's, y'all, from Walmart, um, you have to use it within like a day or two and Friday is his birthday and I got this Tuesday and I'm just not really feeling too comfortable with the way that the husks are looking so I'm just going to shuck it and go ahead and boil it let it cool down um, put it in a Tupperware and then tomorrow when I grill his steaks and all that stuff then I'll just throw it um, on the grill and reheat it you know with some butter and some seasoning or whatever um, and it'll be perfectly fine but that's one less step that I will have to do tomorrow though. And I'm still not sure if I want to marinate the steaks or if I just want to season them up and put them on the grill. I don't know because I generally, I take the steak, I salt and pepper both sides, and then I put butter on them and I grill them. And that is it. And they are phenomenal. 
So I'm gonna um, maybe see if I can find a recipe or something. I was looking earlier and didn't find anything that really like stuck out to me. Um, but I'm gonna look again and see if maybe I can find some type of recipe. And if not, then that's just what I'm gonna do with the steaks. Keep it real simple and basic. And he loves them either way. So yeah, and then I'm gonna cut up <laughs> these peppers that I need to put in my freezer. What are you doing with my vacuum other than dumping dirt out? Yeah, can you tell us because it stays in my laundry room? No. Mom. No, 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 Yes, Jesus does love you. It came, it came, it came, it finally came! <gasps> my Hunger Games. Oh my gosh, I so just want to watch that tonight. I was so excited about it. Oh, my Ipsy bag came too. I've already took a little sneaky peek in there. Oh my gosh. I love the bag. I, I love it, like, I love it. There's only like two things in there that I'm not excited about, first off, but we're gonna figure it out. Oh. And Dell got a birthday card from his uh, dad and stepmom, so that was all that was in the mail today, thank goodness, but I'm so excited about this and the Hunger Games. Oh, I'm going to watch that tonight. Oh, sorry, I just get back and check the mail, but yes, I'm so excited. I was going to try to wait and watch it tomorrow night, but oh my kidding, I have to watch it tonight. But yeah, now I'm going to go change my shirt because Riley peed on me as we were walking out to the mailbox. <laughs> Total mommy moment right there. He didn't even tell me he peed. He must have peed as we were walking back up the driveway. So, thanks, my son. Thank you. Sweet love of baby Jesus, I am off to the tanning bed. Oh, and it is needed. Woo, Brody came home in a bad mood. Riley's mood all of a sudden turned evil. The twins are alright. They're doing their chores and stuff. But I tell them to hurry up for their chores so they can take their baths. And... I look over, Preston's playing a game on his cell phone, and I'm like, are you done phoning your laundry? Because if you're so, you need to go get in the bath. Your dad's going to be home, and, you know, he's going to take his bath, and you're still over there, you know, in your school clothes. So, ugh. It's just rough. Just a rough day, y'all. I don't know. But, and then I forgot to pay something that I was supposed to pay, and Dell's like, did you pay this? I was like, oh, I forgot. So now I got to go pay it tomorrow, but that's okay. It's not really a big deal, but... Oh, I'm off to stand in the tanning bed for 10 minutes and put my sunblock on my face. I don't know if I told you guys that, but I don't want my face to be really, really dark. Because for one, it shows up like all my wrinkles. For two, I don't want wrinkles. And I don't like splotches on my face. So, uh, what I've been doing is I, when I go like on a Tuesday, I'll have, of course, a face full of makeup on. And I'm lucky in that sense because my makeup, my foundation anyways, has um, SPF in it. So um, it protects my face from getting too tan. And then when I go on the days where I don't have any makeup on, I put some sunblock um, on my face. It's like some Neutrogena something or another sunblock. But I put that just on my face. And then I put my tanning lotion on the rest of my body. Um, so yeah, my face will be lighter than the rest of my body but that's okay because when I wear makeup you know it evens it out but I don't know I just don't want to look like what's that one mom it's not like woman back in the day she was like really really tan and she looked like a leather couch I don't want to look like a leather couch I don't want wrinkles on my face so it kind of sort of shields it a little bit from getting um, too dark so that's how I'm doing it, anywho. But it is sprinkling outside. Ugh, I so need this. I need I need longer than ten minutes in the tanning bed and to go to Margaritaville. 
I might just get home and decide to have me a margarita or I'll just chicken out and say, let's just eat these burgers instead. That'll probably be what happens. Not even gonna lie. I'll have margarita tomorrow. Our health and energy, all the food we're about to eat, all the blessings you bestowed upon us, and make sure we're safe wherever we, as we go our separate ways. Uh, amen. 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 What are you doing, Hunter? Me. <laughs> I, I snapped at him. Well, we're having patty melts. Meaning we're just having burgers on regular bread because I don't have any buns and I just didn't feel like getting buns. I should have got some when I went to Dollar General. Or when I went to Santa Bed, I could have went to Dollar General. But I didn't, so we're having this. Yes? And then you could have got Miss Harris's baby shower gift. What, Riley? Yeah, how's your fries? Good. Good. How many have you had? Is that your second helping? Yeah? Mm hmm Are you going to have that little bitty burger that's on your plate? Hiding behind your glass? No, we're just going to show fries in the smell. <laughs> Dale, are you excited about your birthday? Here comes the birthday, boy. Dang, look the way you over there eating a burger. I'm good. <laughs> are you and hungry? guess what? I went on a zip line today. No, You did. At the zoo and you fed the animals. Got to look at the zoo. Animals. Got to play on them. A playground that jump on a jump boys. It was fun. Like yeah. Fun time. Yeah, sounds like you had an awesome time. And it mm -hmm. drove get away on the bus. Mm -hmm. Yes, you young man. Leave my own screen. Me! Uh, I said you. Your turn. Go ahead. Tell us. You got hit in the head. It was an accident. <laughs> he oh. was he was behind me when I was working out and I didn't see him. You ain't gonna let that go, are you? <laughs> <laughs> well, how was y'all's day? Oh, was yeah, it was great. Good. We that played prodigy, walk, and did a you know, like the whole day, and we finished our polygon play. picture. Mine was a cyclops. Call I like him. Cool. It was actually a Cyclops hubble car, mm -hmm. and it was on a race track with another car, Cyclops car, gaining up on it. Mine was a swordfish in the ocean, and he drew a wolf in the ocean, but cool. he didn't actually race it. How was your day, Dale? Oh Pretty good. What are you oh ordering? My. What are you ordering more of? Oh fries? Everything. French fries? Let's eat some of that burger. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and eat mine no, before my food no, gets no. cold.